with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, which he takes credit for. They don't understand that they And the beautiful are sky, sky, the light you bring. I really wanted to do Smule, man. Like, I'm a big fan. I like karaoke. I, I've always been into that. Like, on my, on my, I think it was my 21st birthday, yeah. My buddy took me to a place called Jim Dandy's, that if you're in Pennsylvania in northeastern PA, you would know that name, Jim Dandy's. And for my 21st birthday, I had, like, uh, a, a double, a double shot. I had a double shot. Hey, Gucci Trolls, what's up? Hey, everybody, how you doing? God bless y'all. Well, yeah, I was going <laughs> to... That's funny you say that, long time no see, because I was going to say that uh, right when I started. Like, I've been gone for a bit. I'm trying to figure life out, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to be an adult and do things step by step and get them finished and, uh, like like, living a life that's... Uh, worthy of being called an adult. That's what I'm really doing my best to do. Uh, the truth is, guys, I'll let you know now that I was employed uh, at Burger King for uh, two months, say two months. Uh, and I, yeah, thank you. I appreciate if you think I, I'm, I like, I'm going to tell you, I think my body in terms of my body, like I've been looking at myself and it's not a vanity thing, really a little bit. I guess there's some vanity there, but like, I think I'm, I, I look better than I had, than I did at 27. Like, like if I, I have these new, uh, this new exercise that I don't know where I f saw it, it may have been LL Cool J, but because I know he, I, I, LL Cool J was on, I, it was like ABC morning show or some shit, right? Uh, LL Cool J, and he was promoting like a workout video, and he said, guys, this is what you have to do. Okay, I might be able to show you. I don't know. Let me see. Um, he's like, this is the most hardcore like core exercise you can do. And he's like laid out like that. You could kind of see it. And, and he does the crunches like this really fast and short he, on your back on the ground. Okay. That's what you do. And man, it works. But my, I, I think I came up with my own thing. I'm not sure. I could maybe try and watermelon is eating foods. See, she was eating foot. Did you see her? watermelons say hi okay all right so maybe i can't yeah you can see it right okay all right here you go so this is my shit okay you're like that you're tense at your core and you do this shit you have to be on the small of your back though which it tenses up your abs and your core and you just do this, like you're running up a hill, kind of. But you you have to be right on the small of your back. Now, like, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people probably couldn't do that. Because, like, Shani, God bless her. God bless her, Shani. They're, like, her, her, the way her back and hips are, she could never hold herself on the floor like that. So I, I've never felt, I've been doing quick sets of like, I base it on how I'm feeling in my core, but this is just something that you can do. Try it and see how it starts working on your, your structure. Okay. Cause my, my, like my, uh, the, my upper body is like getting really pumped. Uh, but if you work on your core, it's going to affect everything else. That, that's like a principle I believe that's totally understood now. No, 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 don't. What did you ask me? Gucci trolls. You don't have to ever be sorry about anything. You're very awesome. And you're almost always here, which kicks butt. You're, I like talking to you. So 
ask your question. If you, I'm sorry if I did. I miss your question. I'll talk about all of that in a second. My my the job. Okay. I'll tell you about it in a second. I'm just talking about my physical. Like, I don't know what, dude. Maybe it was because I was eating a lot of protein because I was working at Burger King. So I was eating like burgers and, and chicken. You know, it's not healthy, no. But I was on my feet most days for 12 hours a day. Uh, no, you didn't miss a question. You were talking about job and I said how you look. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Say, I really appreciate that. But I've been just observing like my everything is like getting more muscular. And I think it has to do with I just happen to eat a lot of protein. Um, I've been eating more like Greek yogurt, like Shani, absolutely like it's almost a requirement every time we get EBT at the beginning of the month. It's like, OK, we're definitely getting yogurt right now. Uh Yogurt is consumed, and I've been consuming it. Uh, the the fat free, high protein Greek yogurt. So that's been my diet a lot of like that. With pretzels, I've been eating pretzels, which are carbs, but my body likes carbs. Like I never had a problem of putting weight on from pasta or bread. They say fast intervals will work it out works better than work. Yeah, I'm going to say that that's an absolute true. Yeah, beans are great. I, I was, oh no, lentils. That's huge. The past couple months, my main food that I would, that I was taking, like at the end of the month where it gets skimp on food, I'll supplement at that end of the month with just eating lentils cooked in the microwave with some water. And you put a little onion powder and garlic powder and salt and pepper. And if you're lucky, a little bit of butter, if you got some butter. If not, you don't need the butter at all. Uh, lentils. Uh, I think that's the reason that, that like what was left that was like flabbiness that I had, which mostly is loose skin from losing all the weight that I did, because I'm sure most of you guys seen the picture of me when I was fat because of drag knot. Okay, which is fine. I put that out there for my Total Gym testimony. Total Gym is the best workout apparatus you could ever have, by the way. If you want to really, listen, as long as you do some sort of exercise, eat smarter pro pro portions, you can eat whatever you want. I used to keep weight off by dancing and eat whatever, yeah, or having sex with your significant other. It's a great reason to get a mate is to just have sex. And then your exercise is almost taken care of. It's so much, it's amazing the amount of calories that you will expel if you actually fuck. Okay. This is a problem with males. They think the they think what sex is is them getting hard and putting their dick in a woman and pumping her until they pop. Hopefully with a condom, be safe, you know, that stuff. But but that's, to them, that's it. Okay. My wife has had this problem with past males. And I'm like Revenge of the Nerds type stuff. You remember in Revenge of the Nerds, what, because they've never had a woman, it, they've fantasized about it and thought about it so many times that when they finally got in front of them, they were really good at what they did. And they they cared too that the woman has an orgasm this is the thing that needs to be really corrected for christians okay i'm not being lascivious to be lascivious i am very much at this point like with shani okay uh you want to call me on the progressive side at this point I w look, you could label me anything that you want to, but always put in front of it that I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. That's all I care about. Okay, the, this is it. Okay. The Holy Scripture. 
I haven't really probably showed that much of myself about this stuff, about the Bible in Christ. But I want to go back to that because that's where I should be. What What are you saying here? Man, people are popping. Sorry. I agree. A lot of men are only out for themselves. A real man makes his woman satisfied. For, that, see, Gucci trolls, you, that, you win. Okay, you win. The, it needs to be discussed because nobody in Christianity will talk about it because if they think it's taboo that sex is evil. Sex is not evil. Sex was created by the creator to let us have an extra level an extra an extra peak of intimacy with the person that we call our mate it's a holy communion of two people that are in love making each other feel good you tell me what is negative about that it's an extra level of connection, exactly. That's exactly what it is. And when it's treated that way, it's the most beautiful thing that you can experience. When you have a beautiful foreplay lovemaking, which would include French kissing, hopefully, hopefully, would include the petting, heavy petting of the private parts and, and on the butt and all that good stuff. Okay, on all of the nice curves, you, you put the hands on the curves. That's why they're there, okay? That's why the male's uh, attention is driven to the, 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 the hourglass hip, the, the hip of the girl. That's always your, as a male, you're going to go, wow, that, this, and it's, a, it's chemical. It's, it's really about childbearing. It's about, oh, she's got the hips for a child that's it see and i'm a christian i'm I, i'm absolutely i'm just saying that science has the, its explanation hey kyla your hair looks cool i like that color pink is sick like shanny i think that's shanny's color the unicorn pink that's awesome what's awesome what's up ben high darkness memes you got cool people cool looking people in here so I went, I went, I went the Kurt Cobain route. Okay, I'm sitting here drinking diet coke like Donald Trump, but I I think Trump is an absolute abomination to Jesus Christ. I thought I saw you drop the cigarette. It could be caffeinated bones. That's a great name. How are you? How are you? Oh my God! The spick and span box. This. To betrayed me. What's up? It's caffeinated bones. I real. I think my bones are caffeinated too, because I dr I dr I try to drink as much coffee as possible. I could be wrong, but I swear I didn't drop it. No, that my 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 cigarette fingers are pretty solid. No, Shani is very good. Is Shani's hair green too? No, Shani's hair. I don't think she would mind me telling you. Shani's hair is mercury blue, and the brand is got to be, got to be mercury blue. And it's very subtle, but in person especially, it almost has a shine to it. It's really, oh, it's gorgeous, actually. And at the bottom, because she had some lightness on the bottom of her hair, it looks really, oh man, it looks beautiful. She might be on at some point in the future, guys. So maybe, like, hey, Michelle Ann, how are you? Uh, undeniably chaotic, how you doing? Yeah, Kyla, Kyla, your hair is awesome. Your hair looks really awesome. Shani's got cool people and I, you know, I feel really blessed to be able to talk to some nice people. I really do appreciate that, that, that I can, there's like an audience that I can speak to that they don't want to just like burn me. Okay, I'm looking the part now, right? 
you'd call me a Christian witch or something, and I'd be like, yeah, what brand did you use? Uh, got to be. Oh, Schwarzkopf. Blue's always been my color when I did my hair. I love blue on a girl. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I really like aqua. You know, like that color when you have blue hair and it fades to aqua? I, that aqua color from faded blue is, like, really hot to me. Like, I just, like, wow. Like mermaid hair. They call this mermaid. This shit. So I guess it's a merman girl, I guess. Mer man lady. My youngest son had his hair dyed green before too. This is very unique. And I would say that if my Joker, if I did my Joker again, which is like the metal version, the met fucking metal head, absolute insane lunatic that can't not scream when he speaks. That's why I don't do my Joker ever. My Joker. I have my own Joker that I would do in a movie. But you don't see it ever. I don't bring that out because it would trigger Shanny too much. Shanny's had too much yelling in him. Blonde and blue, them every shade from Manic Panic, Arctic Fox. Yeah, good stuff. Manic Panic kicks ass. I've been every hair color also. Have you ever been like rainbow hair, Kyla? Yeah, man, that's cool. That pink kicks ass. It's just like a really cool pink, you know? I'm into that shit, you know, like like alternative hair and shit like that. I think it's cool for guys and gals, like like Kurt Cobain. Look up pictures of Kurt Cobain. He had like fucking fuchsia hair. <laughs> it was awesome, man. Some of his colors were so wild, and and it took to his hair because he was blonde. He was like ripped blonder than me. Like like I have quite a bit of blonde highlights in my hair, and 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 it kind of different like different shades of amber and brownish. I was white hair when I was a kid. I could show you a picture at some point. I was white haired, that blonde. But now it's like there's blonde, but it's like it's different shades of blondiness. And it, this this green actually showed up really cool in it, man. I love, I love this hair. Like I probably have this like this all the time, maybe? I don't know. But this is definitely the hair that my Joker would have. It's this shade. So just imagine me in the Joker paint, and it's just, like, green. My Joker is two colors. Hey, Stacy, what's up? I haven't dyed my hair in over a year because it got to the point that it wouldn't pull color right. So uh, uh, Halloween hair, black and orange. Oh, that's awesome. Fourth of July, red and blue, duh, the hell, that's sick. I love that. Like, it's so cool. And, and it's like, it's like, it's accepted to do now. Like, because I'm looking for another job because Burger King, I want to tell you about Burger King quick. It was such dog shit. The managers there abuse their employees. And they violate child labor laws too. They, they don't, they don't, they don't just abuse the people that they employ, but they're also violating child labor laws at the Burger King I was working at, which I don't give a fuck. How do you like it? It was the one on the Scranton Carbondale Highway. Shanny and I are doing all right. Thank you, Stacy. Uh, Shanny has a doctor's appointment soon, and we're going to be finding out some stuff. Uh, you relate to Cobain. I, 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 I do relate to Kurt Cobain a lot. Uh, I, I have pretty, I have stomach issues and that was his main thing that, that it tortured him like his whole life since he had it, um, was, uh, stomach aches. And that's, uh, the song Penaroyal Tea. Sit and drink Penaroyal Tea. That's about that's that's the 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 shit that he would drink. Penaroyal. It's a I uh, I believe a not a brand, but it's a a a type of tea that's supposed to settle your guts. And his whole life was spent in pain. Every place is like that nowadays. I, well, fuck managers then. 
I hated it because uh, I wanted orange and black, but it wasn't that. I that orange and black is real awesome and hot. I have pounds. God, you guys are chatting. I have inflammatory bowel endomyces. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Bur Burger King, they didn't pay enough. I'll accept people. I couldn't live, dude. That's why I was. God damn thing. Sorry. I just want to have a stand that's going to work. Stop. Sorry about that, guy. Can you hear me? Can you guys give me a thumbs up that you can hear me? I'm sorry about this stupid... I don't. I'm sick of this phone. Love you guys, too. <clears throat> Arbor Dean Washington. Okay. Uh... Did you like the work at Burger King, though? I did. You can hear... I Thank you, Gucci. Thank you. Uh, I did. I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed... I liked making sandwiches, actually. That was fun. The problem is that when you have a manager, you get slammed with a big order or two or three, and you run out of beef. You need time for the burgers to come down before you can serve them. And if you have an asshole manager that's standing in front of house and doing nothing to help you, and she is screaming at you, you have to get these out quicker, quicker. We can't go any faster when we're waiting for fucking meat to fall. That's the type of thing where uh, I could bipolar out and just go crazy. So I just, I, I was done with it. And, and, and the next day I came in sick. I was vomiting. I had a horrible stomach bug that lasted probably two weeks. And uh, I was out of work for a while. And my, my boss said, no, you're going to get on the line today if you're sick or not. So I said, you're willing to risk health safety of all these people in here. That's your managerial decision. That's what I said to him. He said, you're going to get on the line and work today. I said, okay. If I puke on a sandwich, that's kind of rough. I guess we'll serve it. Huh? And then I made like one mistake on a Whopper and then he said, that's it. We're making food here. And he like came up right up into my face like this screaming. And that was it. I went to put on a new pair of gloves because whenever you get the fucking jizz fingers. Yeah, I quit. I quit. I didn't get fired or nothing. The fact of the matter is, is that I might have been working there two more weeks. I got would have got a paycheck and then they couldn't pay me anymore. It was coming up to the point where they're not making enough money at that store to cover payroll. It's over. They're done. They're going to close. My mom had coworkers who came in with COVID and just wouldn't tell people, so they got paid. It's disgusting. That's wrong. You're putting people at risk. Hey, Florence, Lucy Lewis. What's up, Florence? He was way too aggressive with me, and I told he knew I was bipolar, too. I told him I was bipolar. Came right up in my face. It, I was that close to punching him. I swear to Jesus Christ, I didn't do it. I should have done it because I could have got my fucking check. I would probably went to jail for a couple nights or something. John should be fired. I Look, John is an... John's my the, is the manager one the the general manager at my Burger King and I like the guy, but he came right up into my face and that was it. I almost hit him. That's horrible treatment. I'm sorry. They do it to all of them. These are kids too. These most of their employees are 16 year olds, because no one can live on the salary. I was working seven days a week. I was working seven days a week. 3 to 11, and I was closing, and I was doing everything, busting my ass. I was cleaning the machines. I still have the key to Burger King's back door because I was, I was the closer. They pay you dog shit. They pay you nothing. I, there's no way that I could have afforded an apartment with internet and all of that. On uh, There's no way. And how can I work another job when I'm 3 to 11 closing at fucking Burger King every day? Can you tell me that? I was just the latest to quit. They had people were just quitting everywhere. And the thing is they work with the eggs that go to medicine vaccines, but they hardly pay shit. Exactly. 
You can't take time off for your health. They want to kill people. That's it. This is absolute fucking gross government, disgusting sacks of shit. And the corporate world is worse than the government, I think. Okay, the capitalists, I'm not in the camp anymore. I'm not a capitalist. There's no way. Capitalism failed this country because people are too greedy. They would not give to charity and help the poor. Hence, the system is demonic and fucking sick. Today's world, you need two incomes. That's it. Not to be rude, but why did you take the job knowing it, what it was? No, I because, no, I needed a job. You, are you telling me I shouldn't have taken a job? All you guys telling me you need to get a fucking job loser. I felt the same way. I felt like a complete loser not having a job. And I want one now again. I have a, it looks like a really good gig here. Pray for me that my current gig goes more and more good. Because this looks like really good pay. And you get it immediately. So I just pray for that for me. That I'm, okay. I t it's my first job. Nine to five bullshit cocksucking. I know it's a bullshit job. But I don't expect to be screamed at. Especially when they know I'm bipolar. I knew what the pay was, but I didn't know that, whatever. It was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake taking the job because I have something more on my resume. I moved from Canada to Chicago and it blows my mind that it isn't a minimum wage that employers pay their employees. See? Yeah, caffeinated bones. Should I just call you caffeinated bones? Like, do you have a name? <laughs> or I'll just call you caffeinated bones. I'll probably follow you. Cat, cat, you're, you look cool, caffeinated bones. I'll probably add you. Follow you. Thank you, Gucci trolls. That, yeah, just pray that whatever this is that I just came into, that I, like, uh, uh, I have money, in, like, immediately. Uh, pray that that keeps going good. I hope all is well. Hey, what's up, C, said Casey. There's a problem no matter where you work. Yeah, I mean, I and I expect that. I don't want to risk John's jaw and my freedom. So I quit. I was getting flashes of like hitting him. And no, I'm not, I was medicated, I, like for real. And I'm, I was vomiting in the fucking parking lot. And this guy tells me, oh, sure, you can serve food. And insurance sucks and hardly her meds and dental don't think about her dentures. Then they have to choose to get her teeth removed. Okay. Your mom. Okay, sorry. There's uh, There may be problems everywhere, but no one should be get, uh, getting on anyone's face. No, that's what I'm saying. And, and it's triggering extra for me because of the bipolar you can't do that. And he and I informed all of the managers. Uh, I made them all understand that I have that issue. And I, I do consider myself like a disabled American. And they tell you, you can you can identify that way on the employment forms, and you get the rights of, of that same type of stuff. Um. I made it clear I'm bipolar and schizoaffective, so I have issues, and I haven't been able to find medica uh, a, a Medicaid uh, psychiatrist, so I am not, I'm unmedicated. I'm doing my best. But I just need, especially if the work-from-home gig is amazing, because I can be here for Shani still, because she needs me. Her mobility is getting worse every day. Couldn't you transfer or is that only one by you? No, I could transfer and that's probably, I, I could walk into probably to the one in Ein and, and, and I don't want to be in food service, I don't think. Food service is not for me. There should be a job placement company that helps mentally disabled. Yeah, I, and yeah, I'm going to be, there's an office I can go to. Caregiver, yeah, that's, that's something I've had to look into for years now with, with Shani because she needs it. She's sick, guys, like sick, sick.
and she's also has a bug recently. So, Whew. believe it or not, I haven't talked about the reason I made the video. So I'm going to spit this fast. Got twenty. Uh, God bless all the twenty people in here. Give me and Shani a follow if you want. We'll, we, I'm hoping that when Shani starts feeling better, if that happens, I pray to Jesus it does that she'll start coming on more and we can do like a podcast, the Reverend Shani podcast. I want to do that. I want to get good mics, good computers and do it. What's wrong with Shani? Oh my God, Queens. Um, okay. Thank you for finding us. Um, however you found us, that's cool. Um, she has fibromyalgia. She has osteoarthritis. She has cystic fibrosis uh, condition. She's got issues with her breast currently that we don't fully understand, and we're trying to look into that deeper. Um, her fatigue levels at this point are, her pain levels and fatigue levels are unmanageable now. She could just barely get to the bathroom, guys. That's where we're at. She has osteoarthritis in her hips and back and knees. And it is degenerative with no prognosis of any good, except at the age of 50, she would have the option of getting knee replacements and hip replacements, which is a fucking nightmare if you ask me, but... I think she'd be up to it because her pain levels are that bad. Uh, she's going through perimenopause as well, which is driving her insane. When did she get a cystic fibrosis? She has had that, I believe, since 19. I think she was diagnosed with that at 19. I, w I would have to check with her. What's up, John Williams? John Williams is a great composer. What's up, Ash? How you doing? Ash and Eve? Ash X Eve. <laughs> no, not COPD. No. Well, she's not been diagnosed with that, but her lungs have been weird. They're making a noise when she breathes. That's not normal. She has you to take care of her. Yes, she does. And I want to be here for her. And I need, but I need to be bringing in money too. I need to get out of my uncle's place. I need to get out of here. Because for him. Look at the cops. No, yeah, COPD. No. I don't think so. But her father died of lung cancer and she has had fibroids in her stomach. She's been having digestive issues as well. Her entire body is screaming there's something wrong. Her entire body is yelling at her. You need to look at something in here. Cause there's something wrong. Housing assistance queen is so bad. There is a five year waiting list for housing assistance. Five year waiting list. Emergency housing is definitely something that we've wanted since we got here and we've been here three years now. There's no help. If it wasn't for my uncle, I'd be on the street in Scranton, streaming in Scranton somewhere with my Obama phone. Let me get to the reason I made the video. I'm going to spit this quick and you can comment on what you want to comment. My bad. I've only heard that being associated with smoking. No, uh, no. Is there a shelter you can go to that we'll get? No, there's not any more. Uh, there's been too many problems with, with shelters in my area and they basically shut them all down. Does her heart crinkle? I believe it does. Allie, I believe it does. This is why she needs a bunch of tests, but I'm going to just spit. 
I want to talk about Hunter Biden. I believe that Hunter Biden's rights have been absolutely violated. I believe that he's been treated worse by the criminal justice system because he is Joe Biden's son. I think it's ridiculous that his name has been taken through the shit that it's been taken through. All this man was guilty of was having grief from the loss of his brother, and he fell into drug addiction, which led to promiscuous sex, That, which then the promiscuous sex led, led to him wanting to record the risky sex. He started to want to record it himself, which is totally fine. Uh, heart palpitations, I'm not sure. Crinkle heart, I, they can figure it out. Uh, uh, we're not sure. I'm not sure if she has a crinkle heart. I'm not sure about that. But she does have a sound that's coming. What she believes is from her lungs, not her heart. Every time she's gotten an EKG, she had a great heart, but we'll see. Okay. Marjorie Taylor Greene in, in the Congress, holding up the pornographic pictures of Hunter Biden. This is, in my mind, criminal. I believe this to be criminal. This woman took... Hunter Biden's going to be all right. This is just some political spat. No one cared about Hunter before his dad came. Right? Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. She could have a heart murmur. That's possible. She, we're going to get tests done, and then I'll come back to you guys, and we'll see what's going on with her, okay? She's starting to go to the doctor day after tomorrow, pretty much. So I'll keep you up to date as much as I can, okay? Hunter Biden's privacy rights were violated by uh, also the government because Marjorie Taylor Greene is is a, a House of Representatives member, and she violated his privacy rights and convict and committed a crime uh, known as revenge porn. That she showed this man's nudes and sexual acts with women that were consenting and paid. The women that he engaged in this with, unto un my knowledge, in the official press, is that Hunter Biden sought out normal age women. It's not underage with girls. It's not anything like that. But Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to slap this guy on the hand and say, uh, your hand was in a cookie jar of prostitution and you were dealing in uh, a case of sex trafficking between uh, states. And I believe she's a liar and a sack of shit. Uh, I believe that Marjorie Taylor Greene is absolutely a psychopath almost, that she's an unstable individual, an unstable woman that absolutely needs to be told the truth to her face at every chance that that could be, that you need to be told how things are. Um, she, she, she blatantly commits a crime on the house floor and she's still in there. She, she put out his pornographic pictures out in front of the world. When this man was just, he wanted to take his laptop to get it fixed. And some disgusting sack of shit that thought it was just fine to screw with people took his laptop and yanked all of the pornographic private pornography, his private stash, if you will, didn't I troll prostitutes? Yeah, I did. And I feel really bad about that, okay? I've, I've apologized for that. It's I, 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 I fully support sex workers. I was just really mentally ill at that point. I was doing really reckless, horrible, not, not horrible, like horrible, horrible, but that was bad enough. That's as bad as it was. Uh, I was out of my mind at that time. But yeah, I apologize for that because it was wrong. You know, it's I, I support girls doing that. It should be completely legal, and it pretty much is now. Even on Facebook, you can find girls that, that if they're into it and, and you want, they want money, uh, and they're into you, you, you could, you can do it. And, and it won't, it won't be prosecuted unless you assault or something like that. You're done. Darkness needs to be blocked. All they come as rude things. The one shit he lays around like a starfish. No, well, th that's just not. Yeah, I said like, I'm not. I'm not looking to block people. Okay, whatever. 
you can put things a certain way. It's really rude to say that. And if she doesn't, she's good at making love. They just asked a question. Yeah, I, it's fine. Like, it's it's implied in the question that, that that's the case, and that's kind of gross. But I can tell you that she's not. <laughs> she moves plenty. Okay, you guys, you, you got it. We, we weren't into the penetration intercourse on, on our porn, really. You guys know that. It was mostly me, you know, eating it and, and making it. They eating both, you know. Hi, Proud Patriot. I hope you're having a great day. Ma either said they something rude about yeah they do they I I I just I'm not in the mood to to get all crazy about stuff so I'm not gonna block people just not don't don't be rude be nice Shani being sick how are you two tonight we're we're doing the best we can every day. But I suggest you guys try that move I showed you. Like, go back, for if you didn't see it, go back in the beginning of this video. And you can see the, the things that I'm doing. I'm probably going to have, like, Bruce Lee abs, man. Like, seriously, I'm going to have some serious abs pretty soon, I think, to show you. Because of the this exercise, is, if, if you do what I showed you at the beginning of this video, you're going to be shredded. Yeah, I dyed my hair. I did. This is... Mermaid green. Merman, whatever. It's mermaid green. I love it. This would be my my Joker's color hair. This would be my Joker's color hair, man. This is what he'd wear all the time. And be screaming at you, and he's a fucking lunatic. As she thought about, uh, you have an immature behavior disorder. Focus on and fixing that. Get help. Stop watching fake news. Okay. Now that, that, see, that, you're gone. That's not going to be tolerated at all. Shandy's going to start getting tests. So, yeah, I just wanted to put my voice out here about Hunter Biden. I think it's disgusting. He was actually treated worse because he's the president's son. Pulmonary fibrosis. Oh my God, I'm sorry. That's horrible. God bless you. So yeah, Hunter Biden, it's ridiculous. It's disgusting. His rights were violated. Uh, and I think something should happen about that. Marjorie Taylor Greene should, should pay fines. She should have to pay a settlement to Hunter Biden for revenge porn and humiliating him for no reason at all. None. There's no reason for what she did other than to be a disgusting sack of weird shit. She's a gross person. Marjorie Taylor Greene is absolutely disgusting person. And this is what the modern Republican Party is, and it's disgraceful. And I have an R by my name. I'm a Republican. I'm a registered Republican. And I think it's the party's fucking disgusting. But now, see, I'm an anarcho-communist pretty much in my ideology. I'm an anarcho-communist. And I believe that our function, our system of government is obsolete. Kratos is here. Say hi. Hey, Kratos. Anyone else get in trouble for revenge porn so she should too? Exactly. I totally agree. Chubby Usa Moon. Uh, no, yeah, sure. Hunter Biden should pay for any crime he did, and he did commit crimes. He committed a uh, drug, drug, drug addicts aren't supposed to have firearms. He violated that. He said he wasn't he got a gun when he shouldn't, uh, and tax stuff. He had bad taxes, back taxes, sorry. Uh, and he was going to pay for that. Capitalism has failed everyone, but the top 1%, that's correct and accurate, 100% done. So I'm Johnny Silverhand. Burn the city down. I'm Johnny Silverhand now. Because we've gotten that, it's that far gone. They're using our money for the most irrational bullshit. The color reminds me of sickness. Let's change that. This color, my hair, I love it. 
I got like my Joker here. This is this is my Joker here exactly. The length even is like pretty perfect. A little bit longer. I like it a little bit longer maybe. No, it's like perfect. I I just love it. I'm happy. Anyway, uh, you want to buy me a pizza? That would be amazing if you wanted to. Yeah, I'd love that. I'm a proud Republican too, Patriot. I'm with you. How are Gavins and watermelons? They're really good caffeinated bones. Caffeinated bones. I really like your name. I don't know why. I like that name. I support Trump. You support Trump? Gucci? I didn't know that at all. You do? Holy shit. You support Trump too? That I have no... I was MAGA. I was MAGA in 2016. Full. Had the hat, shirt. Loved it. I was full Trump. As Trumpy as you could get, I was Trump. And I said it everywhere. I have no problem with Trump supporters, okay? I would just say that if you're worshiping him as a Messiah, repent, okay? I, I, I'm sure you guys don't. I hope you don't. But, yeah. Mark Mama, Trump supporter. That's fine. Yeah, we did have this conversation. I remember Gucci. Sorry. Think they're all stupid? Yeah, you're pretty right. I work election and the chairman of the local Republican committee. That's great. God bless you. Queen Sean, another Trump supporter? That's great. You need to eat and look happy. You look defeated. I, no, I feel... Dude, I'm like fucking... I don't know what the fuck you... All right. I, like, I'm feeling really good. And I, I like, look pretty fucking good, too. I'm not being vain. I'm just saying. Taco Bell, can I send you two a taco? Yeah. It, we will appreciate an absolute... We, we are pretty much out of food again. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. I'm so sick of this. I just want Jesus' table of showbread. I am a lot happier. Fasting for life. I support Trump. Can't worship him. I'm a Canadian. I don't worship him. Good. As long as you don't worship Donald Trump, I you please support him. That it's your right. I I just hope that that goes to a certain segment of the population that's actually worshiping the guy, and it stops there. Because that's hero. That's leader worship, Dad. That would be a job you could do not being rude, but you need decent pay for one day of elections. You can also get 45 days for early vote. Really? Oh, my God. I'll go there. I'll find my... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Thank you, Proud Patriot. I'm going to go to my local Republican Party building and volunteer or whatever or want to be paid. They pay you? They pay you. Thank you for that, Proud Patriot. I will... I'm totally down to do that. Because I support the republic. I'm not going to say the democracy. It's not a democracy. Call your local register's office. I'll do that, proud patriot. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Anyway. Hunter Biden's rights have been violated. It's disgusting. And I respect everybody that supports Trump here. But I said what I needed to say. Hunter Biden is whatever. Dr. Pepper and five tacos on its way. Hey, okay, listen, Beluga official. Look, you're, look, bless you, okay? I pray that God gives you 10 times the amount of money that it took you to buy us that if, that, if that's what's happening. God bless you. You're amazing. You have a class to take, but you get paid for that too. It's training class. Fine. I'm up for that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And you get paid... Can you give me a pay pr approximately an hour? How much an hour can you make at this proud patriot? Thank you for this is a great idea. Blessed by God. Very much. Because I like the political system when it works right. I don't know anyone who worships him. Another media lie. I Maybe not. Maybe not. Very easy. Word. God bless you. Thank you for this. 
I'm going to do this. You make $175 a day. Sir, I am going. Okay, that sounds pretty darn good. Do you get paid daily or weekly? How do you get paid? At Dilly Broadcast. Broad account. Bro account. Pennsylvania will need honest poll workers. Trump and his ilk will absolutely try to steal the election. I think you're right. Did you get your food stamps? Yeah, we did. They're gone. I'm not going to, I don't want to talk about it. It makes me really angry. I have issues with stuff here and I just got to deal with it and be an adult. And I'm not, not, that's it. Now I might try to do that in my area. Yeah, there you go. Assistant chief. And I think regular election workers make 145. That's phenomenal. I'm doing, I am, uh, sign me up. I'll be a poll worker, sign me up. I think it's right across the street too. Cause that's where my polling place is at the firehouse. Would I go, could I, no. Shit. I gotta go to the Republican committee or the, yeah, the Republican uh, register, right? The Republican office in my area. I'm sure I could find that quick on Google. Yeah, I'm a broke boy. That's true. Oh my God, that's true. Oh. So what happens when people harass you on the internet out of your apartments? They swat you and, and accuse you of all kinds of crazy shit and you get kicked out of your apartment multiple times and you have to start all over again. That's what happens. Your money goes away. Yeah, that's true. Board of Elections. Okay. Okay, you're, okay, hacked. I was going to be nice to you, but you're a sack of shit, so we'll see you later. See you later. You're a piece of shit. Later. Look up where your local board of elections is. That's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I, it's like I got stuff on my plate. And I got income tomorrow in my bank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open a new bank account tomorrow, like... Praise Jesus Christ. He's so good. And I love the Bible and I want to read it. And I want to make people love Jesus. You know, we have, oh my God, there's a boy. Gab, ouch. Oh my foot. Hey, Gabby, come here. Gavin, I just want to show you two of the peoples, okay? This is a boy. We have to get a boy. Because I'm going to go off air after this. This is Gavin and Keith Katz. You see this boy? Mm. Here's the boy. Patriot comments. Turn my boat off, yeah. There's a Gavin. He's got a belly from eating tuna. He's a good boy. Kathy, love you. Okay, there's Gavin. So, yeah, he's the sweetest boy. He looks just like your cat, yeah. And I was going to say, look at this, Gavin. This is this is Gavin. The, the Meow Mix cat is Gavin, except younger. It's a younger Gavin, Kit Kats. So he's a star, you know. There's Gavin Kit Kats, and he goes, is, did someone say foots? And he goes, wow, and he, that's foots. <laughs> Everybody loves cat, Gavin, I know. Asking for money, but... You, I don't have any EBT left. Yeah, you're an asshole. You're down to. I'm not going to take any of the bullshit. Caffeinated bones. The, the, I can't get over you. I'm sorry. I can't get over your name. I like your name. I'm, I'm going to follow you, I think. All right, guys. God bless you. Run Gavin his paycheck. Meow mix. What? Yeah, I haven't asked for anything. I asked for prayer. That's about it. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. All right, I'm going to go. 
this Hunter Biden shit's ridiculous. And, 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 and the people that screwed with him and violated his privacy rights, especially the sack of shit that stole his laptop and then leaked all of the uh, pictures and everything off of his laptop, they need to be prosecuted. I came in late. What do you need prayers for? Just job stuff, proud patriot. That that my job situation goes in a good direction. Meow Mix model and needs to be paid. Ah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, thank you, Chubby Use Moon. Yeah, that's true. He's he's the Meow Mix baby. Keep in touch, Rev. The internet is more fun with you on it. Oh, well, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that. God bless you. Yeah. Take care, everybody. This is our ending very positive. Love you all. God bless you. And I, I support people's right to support Trump. If you like Trump, that's cool. Later, caffeinated bones. That's a great name.